let the truth prevail. That is what Kembi Gitura, the chairman of the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority Board, says following allegations that the authority flouted procurement regulations, putting at risk 100 billion shillings of donor funds. According to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, KEMSA officials dished out tenders to mysterious entities under the cover of the COVID-19 pandemic, putting the lives of ordinary Kenyans at risk. Procurement and financial irregularities have been the source of all Kemsa's troubles after a special audit revealed a financial scandal unfolding at the medical supplier. And with 100 billion shillings of donor funds at risk, the anti-corruption watchdog EACC was forced to grill the authority's executive directors as well as the chief executive officer, Dr. Jonah Manjari, in July. And this is that it wasn't just taking money that wasn't theirs. It was taking away the opportunity for for life these, these are these are people that need these ppes these are people that need the dawa they they have to have it to live and and that's been taken from them this stance by the united states ambassador to kenya kyle makata forcing kembe Getura, the chairman of the cancer board to respond we are not going to protect anybody anybody who is found to have been culpable they'll face the consequences because every action has consequences. On the other hand, we are not going to victimize anybody just because there is that public outcry. According to the EACC, KEMSA downplayed procurement procedures by direct sourcing and awarding the 7.7 billion shillings tender to a company known as Killig Limited under the cover of emergency needs, despite the fact that they were given three months to supply as opposed to one month. Additionally, other companies with less than six months in operation received tenders without credible financial records being presented. That would be a fail. That would be a major failing on the part of, procure, of the procurement uh, entity or authority at Kemsa, right? That would be a major, major failing if it is true. With Gitura neither denying nor confirming the allegations, the direct sourcing coupled with other procurement irregularities saw Kemsa procure COVID-19 equipment at double the price. For instance, Kemsa paid 700 shillings for the KN95 mask that goes for 400 shillings on the higher side. Over 1.8 million masks were procured. Additionally, the disposable three-ply surgical masks were procured at 90 shillings per piece against the market price of 50 shillings when bought in bulk with personal protective equipment being procured at 9,000 shillings when the kits were going for 4,500 shillings on the market. According to Getura, there could be a reason for that. When you talk about things being obtained at double the price, you need to tell Kenyans as, as of what time, as of what moment in the procurement, procurement process since COVID was declared as a pandemic in March, mid-March, the whole world was in a panic at that moment. And the cost of commodities at that time is not what it is today. In the months of April and June, Kemsa Procurement Director Charles Juma wrote to his CEO, Dr. Manjari, raising questions over why Kileg was chosen in direct procurement for a tender that should essentially be open to competition given its size. He further indicated that it was unnecessary and that the tender to Kileg should have been revoked. At the moment, EACC is yet to finalize on its investigations on the medical supply. Rakam Wigai, Citizen TV.